I have a few housekeeping things that I need to get through so that way you know what to do for the day. The most important thing is to remember where you are at today. If you've attended a School of Data event, uh, you know that I will bring this slide up. And not only are we remembering the over one million minutes since we've been together, but we are really on a small little dot. We're on a small little island on this small little dot. The photo that you see uh, here circled in red is the selfie taken from Voyager as it passed through the rings of Saturn. Everything that you do, no matter how small as it is, is important to your friends, to your neighbors, and to the people that you are passionate about. As you walk through the day, and as I click through the slides, also remember why we are on such beautiful lands. When the Dutch colonists came here, they remarked at the natural beauty that existed on all of the islands that are around here. They were really blown away by the indigenous population that they ultimately displaced and enslaved. It's the fact that how many different tribes were on these islands, these lands, these islands, these waters, the air that we breathe is special ground. The indigenous population saw these islands as really the bounty with all of its beauty. They had a collective saying, which they were befuddled by these Europeans who came here, which is documented in the island of the center of the world by Mark Shorto. The indigenous population, commonly known as the Lenape, said, if no one can own the sea, nor can you own the air, how can you own the land? We are the shepherds of the future. We shepherd our time for tomorrow. And I want you to keep that in mind through every single conversation that you have today. I have met some of you and random weird events, and I am so happy that I have because we have come together to build this community. And I want you to be thinking about the community connections that you are going to be making throughout the day and online and into the future. The island that we're on right now is known as Blackwell's Island. How many of you know the detailed history that is on this island? If you rode in the car with me this morning, you knew. Where we're standing right now is the grounds of a former penitentiary. To the south of us, we can go to the ruins of an insane asylum that Nellie Blyde, a fundamental journalist, had herself committed so that she could document the atrocities that were being committed right over there. The people that were on the penitentiary of this part of the island were taking care of the people that were sent to the mental institution that was over there. Together, this dark history was attempted to be erased by rebranding it as FDR Island to celebrate a president who himself had quite a few things that we should celebrate while this land has its troubles, it also has its opportunity to celebrate. We are coming and we are still in a massive pandemic that science has blessed us with a vaccine for us to be getting together. If you go to the southern tip of the island, you can see a monument to the polio epidemic that plagued our communities up until 1979. And through the miracle of science and vaccines, our nation has been cured of polio. So thank you, science. I just want you to remember these stories as we walk this island and as we walk our islands because they're important to remember the opportunities that science and technology and data and innovation give us every single day. The stories from this island, the earth beneath our bones, the subway that we take and the tram we ride, the water that we drink and the city that we live in comes from a shared struggle for improvement. Our past, present, and future contains no utopias. Ultimately, we are here to minimize each other's suffering and to offer support to those who need it and fight for a better tomorrow. This is not for us, but this is for all of us. So our story really begins through these four freedoms, the freedom of speech, the freedom from want, the freedom of religion, and the freedom from fear. This is the People's First Data Catalog, which is a phone book that Gail helped get printed also through the Fund for the City of New York, where you could literally flip to a page and see a data set. We, Beta NYC, first got started about 12 years ago, meeting in offices, talking about open government information. 
we come together to celebrate March 7th. We have since wrote the People's Roadmap. I really encourage you to participate in the People's Tech Assembly because you will directly help us rewrite the People's Roadmap. By writing the People's Roadmap, we helped build the infrastructure that we are all celebrating today. We fundamentally connect around four freedoms, the freedom to connect, the freedom to learn, the freedom to innovate, and the freedom to collaborate. Here's a bunch of photos. I wanna stop at this one by saying thank you, the Blasio administration. While we have many things to beat them up over, we have many things to celebrate in this particular community. If it wasn't for their dedication, we wouldn't have the mayor's office of data analytics now known as the NYC open data team. There was a lot of shared struggles to get these pieces of legislation to get us to where we're at today. School of data, if you've ever seen Care Bears, this is more or less our shared stance. It's a community conference. We're focusing today on civics, design, tech, and data. You are going to be experiencing a number of different panels, workshops, and office hours. You can go to Sketch, where you will find a listing of all the things that are in the rooms. We're going to have a closing community reflection here with the chief analytics officer, Martha, where we're all going to come back together and we will open up the microphones and we can collectively talk about what we experienced for the day. After this, if you have any questions or issues, come find Lauren, Gabby, myself, or Kate. And with that, balante, we're moving forward. Hack the planet. You have uh, more or less five minutes till you get to your next session, but we ask that the elected officials come to the front as well as the Cornell tech team come to the front and the open data team come to the front. We're gonna do a little group photo as we reset the room to start session. So with that, can we get some hooping and hollering and some clapping and some feet stomping? Thank you for being here. <laughs>